We'll win, baby. Let's go. We're going to have a good time. Hi, guys. Todd here. Today, we're going to be looking at a panda from Bear Lair Mods in Russia. Uh, now, this it this is going to be one of these ones that just, it's it's short and sweet version. I personally don't think this is the prettiest looking RDTA I've ever come across. I really don't. Um, and there's certain things about it. When you look at it, you go, I've seen all this before. It's nothing new. But I will say, at the outset, vape quality from this. I mean, the vape from this is superb. It's very, very good. The vape, I cannot take that away. I will not. I love vaping with this device. Now, you can do normal RDTA type stuff. You don't even have to bother putting, I mean, you've got the, the holes for putting the wicks down. Don't have to bother with that. It's kind of like the Riviera in that respect, where you just build it like a normal RDA and it just wicks away quite the thing. Uh, you can also take this down to mouth to lung. It's kind of like a hybrid and you can also do a Genesis setup and it's... There's some clever things going on with this. There's some clever things. Uh, it's going to be about $125 and I think it will be the middle of this month before it is released. Uh, so you'll have to go and check out their Facebook page as well if you want to grab a hold of one. But enough talking, close-ups. So here we go. Now, um, inside, open this up, uh, you will find the, the Ate and you'll also find an authenticity card. Below the card, you're going to find some spares and accessories, and we shall go through these. One tank, no instructions. Uh, there are, there's information scattered through the Facebook group. Uh, I really do wish, and I'll have a little rant here. Uh, whilst that information on this device is scattered through the Facebook group, I really do wish mod makers would just get all the information for a device in one file, in one place, in a Facebook group or on a web page, so that you can just go and read it without trying, you know, scouring through a group looking for information. That's, you shouldn't have to do that. So once again, $125 from Russia, and it's an RDTA. Now, uh, you are looking at 316 stainless steel. We have an Ultum tank. We have an Ultum drip tip. We have an Ultum uh, AFC going on here as well. We have a Panda. It's a bear, bear layer mods. And going around here, we have air hole here, here, and a mouth to lung one here. You're looking at 27 millimeters in height, not including the drip tip or the 510, and it is a 22 millimeter RDTA. You can squonk with it, uh, which I am doing just now, so you can squonk to fill the tank, or you can just use a standard, it does come with a standard 510 pin also. Uh, you can see that we've got bare layer mods going on here. What we'll do first is we're going to Pull the cap off, put the deck to one side, and I'll let you see how this airflow control is working. I'll take the drip tip off. It's a standard 510 drip tip. I, be honest, it, it, it's it's not for me. I think it looks terrible. It is perhaps, however, one of the most comfortable drip tips I've ever vaped with. I absolutely love vaping with this. Uh, it's just, once again, it goes back to what I said at the start. Look wise, looks wise, this, this just doesn't really do it for me, but oh God, it's so good to vape with. I'm going to pop the AFC out, but you can see it's kind of knurled around here, so you can actually spin the AFC. I will say, unless I've got my glasses on, it is kind of hard to see uh, what's going on. But if I pop that out, uh, you then get an idea of what's going on. So, air hole size wise, and if I just get my little panda the right way up, you can have two air holes. So you've got dual air going on here. If you just use, you know, your normal horizontal build, you've got two air holes here, and these are three by two millimeter, and I'll show you how they work in the deck in a second. Uh, but you also have another air hole here, which is two by 1.5 mil, and that is for when you do a single coil vertical, uh, and that vertical coil can be for a, a you know stainless steel mesh wick or cotton, whatever you want. But what happens is you can see that if we go around here, see how that's stepped? So that's stepped around there. So if I go, what do we go for? If we go for, let's just have the two air holes open on either side here. So when I pop that in like this, you can see that this means that the airflow is now fully open here 
and fully open here. However, it's closed there. And when you turn this and just twist in the AFC, I don't know if this will show up that great here, but can you see how it's stepping down there? So you can adjust the AFC like that. And obviously when you spin it round so that you have the, you know, this, just the, the mouth to lung air hole open, it closes off, you know, these air holes. It's quite clever. I do like the way it's been done. And uh, the, the chamber is, you can see it's quite a small chamber in here. The, fl the flavour is tremendous. I hate the panda. I'm sorry, that, that just sounds wrong because everybody loves pandas. But I just don't like pandas on my e-cig stuff. Now the actual deck itself, you can see that we have an air hole here and an air hole here. And then you get the gist of where the cap sits on the top there. It is, uh, you've seen this before, you've seen this set up before, but it's got a couple of little trick features. So um, if you set this up as an RDT, you know, just a standard coil going across here, then, you know, you've got positives and negative wires going across here. It's, it's, you've seen it all before. Uh, I, I do not put my cotton down in here though. I just don't. I just lie on top, the same as I do with the Riviera, and, and it seems to wick fine for me. Just uh, no issues at all. Uh, I'm, I'm quite surprised by how well it wicks. And should point out that uh, you can see that we've got the serial number up here as well that corresponds with the card. Uh, now, what you can do, um, and just to show you this before I forget, Remember I said you could run this as a, you know, just a horizontal? Well, you can also do a vertical as well. So what you do is uh, you grab your post from here, just grab that, doink, and then just screw that on there. Grab my little reducer out of the pack, and that is just gonna fit in here. Down she goes, and that's that. So you can then do your classic, Stainless steel mesh wick, you can have it running up there, uh, or you can just do a cotton one, it's entirely up to you, and just have your, yeah, just like that. And just grab your top cap, and you just want to get your mouth to lung, or a little ear hole there, just set that in front, tip, trip tip on, and that's you. So the ear is closed off, here and here, and you only have air hitting your coil from here. It's the, it goes back, I mean, the thing about the bare layer mods, guys, is that they, they are known for their Genesis tanks or Jenny tanks. Um, but this one is, it's a hybrid. You can do cotton or you can do stainless steel. Uh, getting this little reducer out is dead easy because it's, you know, they've got these slots in here and I can just pop that out and job done. The only thing I really want to make you aware of is you can see here that where your wire's going through, uh, you may struggle with... This isn't for big chunky coils, it really isn't. Uh, it's, it, I would say it's mostly for round wire, uh, or if you do a, a fuse clap, then you would have to spin the leg so that it would go through there. And even then you're not gonna get that big a coil in, but uh, it's, it's not really designed for that as such. Uh, whilst I'm here, we'll, we'll spin this apart just so you can have a look underneath. And uh, excuse me, I've just washed this out, but you can see you've got the O-ring there. Can you see you've got a hole there? corresponds with this hole this is your your fill hole you can fill through here um, and as always when you know you're building an RDT make sure your cotton isn't packed into these holes if it is packed into these holes then filling through this would be a, a bit of a pain in the backside as you would just have juice you know the back pressure would just force juice back out here it's also a really really small hole and um, yeah I, I, it's one of these ones I think it works best with a squonker. It's a bit of a pain to fill, um, but uh, yeah, you're going to be using a needle. Uh, that's about all I can say on that one. Now, because of the coil I'm going to put in here, uh, I'm going to try a fuse clapton. Uh, I, I have been mostly been using round wire builds in this, but I'm going to go for a fuse clapton. This is a 2.5 inner diameter one from PC Coils. And what I did was, uh, excuse the gunk there, uh, I took my pliers and I just twisted the legs and you can see that it's just dropping in there, no problem at all. Coils in there. Yes, it's a it's a pain if uh, you know you're using this. You know you have to. I find you have to undo both screws with the fuse claptons. If you're doing a simple round wire build, then yes, I still take out one of the screws, but uh, I can leave one in. I've cut the legs off here, but I can see that I've still see how this one. I just didn't clip it far enough. 
please watch out for stuff like that you know I'm just going to fold this back up inside there just make sure it's not catching off the top cap or it's you know I'm not going to have a short or anything like that so just getting it poked back in there so coils in I've uh, dry fired this pulsed it and uh, yeah that's me I'm good to go now once again uh, I'm just this is a 0 0.4 ohm fuse clapped in 2.5 millimeter inner diameter uh, you will get a 3mm, but god, it'll be tight with a fused or anything like that. Uh, I just think the 2.5 works better. Cotton-wise, you can see where I've cut this to, but I, I've thinned it out a fair old bit. Now, once again, I, I'm not putting the cotton right down into those holes. They're just resting on top of the holes, if you like. Uh, possibly, you know, the, the feathered ends will be sitting down into the hole. Uh, that's kind of the effect that I'm after. But at no point have I felt the need, even vaping something like this setup, where I have to have tails going right down into here. Now, just to show you, this is this is the kind of nozzle I've got. This is a, a Geek Vape refill bottle, and I can just get that on there. And yes. It is filling the tank up, but it's, it's a bit of a pain. I don't know why they didn't have... I mean, you can see here on this hole here, you know, where you can screw another terminal in. See how it's countersunk here? They should have done the same with this hole here so that, you know, the nozzle of your bottle would sit inside that. Maybe they don't treat it as a, a fill hole. Maybe it's just a breather hole. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, yes, I'm just... I'm just bumping my gums here, you know how it works. Just pop the door back on my squonker here. This is a, the zombie killer mod with the, the standard door. And uh, that, that's pretty much me. We'll have a little test fire. That just goes on and, where am I? Yes, here we go. And that goes on here like this. There we go, good to go. We're gonna have a squonk here. And there is now juice going into the tank. Uh, we'll go back up top and have a vape. Here we go. Uh, now, once again, that's a 2.5 inner diameter fuse clapped in, coming out at 0 0.4 ohms. Uh, dead easy to get in. However, I did find, you know, you have to twist the wires because of the, the way it's set up. And I did have to take both screws out on the posts because it was a fuse clapped in. Normal round wire, as I explained. Uh, this is fully open. That is, uh, draw-wise, is it's, it's comparable to a, a Vena. Um, it's a lot, not a lot less, but it's less air than a, a Riviera RDTA. But it's smoother. It's actually, <laughs> it's quite, the airflow in this is really, really nice. It's strange because when you look at the deck, what, it's not going to be anything special. Surely not. Um, but it's a beautiful vape. I, 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 yes, two thumbs up on the vape that I'm getting from this, especially right now. And that's me. I've I've not put the tails of cotton right down into the tank. Uh, they're just sitting up the top there, and and it still seems to wick away. I can squonk. I can fill the tank up. It works really well. Um, and as it stands right now, two thumbs up. Absolutely love this. Actually, on the you know when I adjust the AFC and I take it down to its tightest with the the dual air holes here. Uh, I find it to be a loose mouth to lung. That's as tight as I can get it using the two and it's, it's a very, some may say it's a, a, a restricted, a very restricted direct lung or a very loose mouth to lung. It's right on that line. However, if you set it up with a vertical coil and you close off the two air holes on the side and you're just using the one on this side, then it does become a mouth to lung. You can go a uh, restricted direct lung down to a mouth to lung. It is proper. Once again, the, the <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the look of it. I really don't. Um, I think it's just. I think it always. It's. It's come back to. It comes back to the panda, and then that drip tip. But I will say again, the drip tip. 
is so comfortable to vape with. It really is. It is one of my favourite drip tips to vape with. Um, the stepped airflow, the, the the way everything goes together, it, it's, it works really well, this. It's not what I thought it was going to be when I put my first coil in. I thought this was going to go into the drawer of shame. I really did. Uh, but it's... It, I love this. Maybe not so much vertical coil with a stainless steel wick because that's how I, I don't vape like that anymore. I haven't for years. Uh, I apologise that possibly there's people out there that want to know, how does it vape like that? Um, I just... No, I can't tell you. Uh, I can tell you what the airflow is like though, uh, and you will get mouth to lung, and it, you will get a restricted direct lung if you do go down that vertical coil option. Uh, for me, as it stands right now, with that 0 0.4 fuse clapped in, it just sings, it really does. Negatives. Right, it's going to be $125. It will be through a Facebook group and you will possibly have import fees as well. The postage from Russia is really, really slow usually. I don't know if there will be postage fees and PayPal fees on top of that $125. I really don't know. Uh, so that's something you have to be aware of. Adjusting the airflow, it works. It works. There's no problem with adjusting the airflow. I just struggle seeing the the ultimate. I have to make sure I have my glasses on. Uh, if I don't have my glasses on, I can't see it uh, because it's just, yes, it's just that c polished clear ultimate that just doesn't show up well. Um, I'm struggling with this one. I just like it that much and, and it really confuses me because it's 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 but ugly, but um, that that's personal taste. You may think that looks gorgeous. You may think that looks gorgeous. Um, the other negative that I did mention, I should say once again, is filling it up. Uh, filling it uh, through that little hole is, yeah, is a pain. It's an absolute pain. Uh, as a squonker, it excels. And the last negative, I will say, is, is actually finding the information for this device. Please, 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 if you're a mod maker, create a file in your Facebook page uh, and or Facebook group, and in that file, Put all the technical information for your device that you're selling. Um, have it in one place, not scattered across the place. Uh, it's just, you know, you're trying to sell this. You know, we want the information, but we don't want to go and have to hunt for it. And I'm just grumpy. To the Bear Lair Mods guys, thank you so much for sending this on. I really have enjoyed this. Uh, remember, middle of September, Facebook page, Bear Lair Mods. $125 and that's it. That's all I've got for you. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. Thank you. And until next time, bye for now.